We're out here today. Uh, haven't gotten to fly my mom since I got my private pilot's license. We're gonna do that today. We're going up in the 152. If you haven't already, please take the time to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the plane. Check, check, check. Can you hear me? Okay. You'll have to lift it up. Gotta bring it in. Gotta bring it towards your mouth. Say something. Gotta hold it. Say something. Okay. Yeah, that one's junk, so it's falling down. Alright, so... Go... 127... Uh, one zero thousand overcast. Temperature one eight two point four. Altimeter three zero one four. Visual approach and use landing departing runways two three and one four. Notice to airmen. Crane point nine miles west of the approach end of runway five one hundred and twenty five feet AGL. Arriving via fire aircraft contact home and approach on one two five point four five at least one zero miles from the airport. Advise on initial contact. You have Charlie. Home town information, Charlie. One nine or five three Zulu. Wind two three zero at seven. Visibility one zero. Ceiling five thousand five hundred broken. One zero thousand overcast. Temperature one eight two point four. Altimeter three zero one four. Visual approach and use landing departing runways two three and one four. All right. Charlie, ready to taxi. Cessna 525 Hotel Fox home and ground runway 23, taxi via Alpha 1. 23 via Alpha 1, 525 Hotel Fox All right, so one last time we do our before takeoff, your cabin doors. All right. Seatbelts are on, flight controls, free and correct, instruments are set, that's level, that's where it's supposed to be, uh, go ahead, to the compasses. We want to make sure it's set for takeoff, and it is. We're good. All right. Take that down there now. Switch that over. Ready? Yep. Hold the tower. Cessna 525 Hotel of Boxtrot is holding short runway 23 at Alpha 1, ready to depart. Cessna 525 Hotel Foxtrot, home and tower, make left close traffic, runway 23, cleared for takeoff. Left close traffic, clear for takeoff, runway 23, 525 Hotel Foxtrot. We still like to kind of keep our eyes out, just because they said we're clear, always make sure. Let's see, that sock is kind of coming from the right there. So I'm gonna put full crosswind correction in here. Feet on the floors. Full power. 50, 60, 
60. And rotate. Not bad, so far. Actually, it's a cooler day. It's climbing out pretty nicely. We're uh, climbing out to 70 knots, which is what we want. We're uh, already at almost 1,000, which is unheard of in this plane in the summer. So we're at 1,000 feet, we can turn, but we need to be at the end of the runway, so. Looks like we may get a little few bumps up here. Can you tell when you're at the end of the runway? Uh, we just hit the end of the runway. Uh -oh. I'm gonna go ahead and turn here. Pattern altitude is 1,600 feet, so. I'm going to keep climbing until we get to that. Yeah, in the summertime, I'm getting to 1,600 feet right as I'm about to land, or I'm a beam the number, so I'm getting ready to set up to land. I'm almost there, and I'm about to turn uh, downwind. So we're there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull some power back here. Start leveling off, because uh, we don't need to go any higher. Pull power back. First notch. base here. As I'm doing this, I'm also pulling back a little bit, trying to get my airspeed slower with each turn. So. How fast did you get up to? This one? Not very. <laughs> this one flies at around 100 knots-ish. Um, it's just not... This one's not a speed demon. the cornfields of Indiana. Yeah. From a pilot standpoint, that just means a lot of really good landing options if things go bad. Oh, yeah. Between the county roads and the cornfields and soybean fields, which soybean fields are more ideal, um, you've just got a lot of good options. Tell me where to exit. System five eight Fox Trot, make one eighty taxi variant view. All right, so, that was fun. Yeah, next time we'll try to do it on a day that we can actually like go over to Putnam County and do a hundred dollar hamburger or something. So after getting to fly with mom for the first time, what'd you think? I thought it was great. Never thought I'd see you fly in a plane. Yeah, so. <laughs> I decided I wanted to start flying when I was what, about 13. Yes, after, and, after you were afraid to fly. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm still scared of heights, but 
Um, still won't stand at the top of a ladder if I don't have to. But about 13 was when I wanted to fly and I turned 33 this month and have had my pilot's license for just less than a year and she's finally gotten to fly with me. So that's kind of cool. It is cool. Yeah, being able to fly with the person that saw you when you were, you know, there when you first wanted to start, so. Yeah, it is neat. Yeah. Come a long way. By the way, if you haven't already, uh, please like and click the subscribe button. I would much appreciate it and we'll see you next time.